Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're looking at code P0113. Um, what is this code? Now it relates to the IAT sensor. Now that is your intake air temperature sensor. Uh, what I'm going to do today is see where it is, how to test it. Oh, there's, there's a couple ways you can test it. I'm going to do both ways. Um, you can do it with a code reader or you can do it with the multimeter. Um, whichever one you've got, you'll be able to test it with that. I've got both, so I'm gonna just show you how to do it on both. Um, where is it? Well, on my car, it's set up on throttle bodies, so it might be slightly different on your car, but it'll be on the intake pipe, you know, next to your throttle. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll flip the camera around, um, show you where it is, and then yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. So. On mine, like I said, because it's set up on throttle bodies, um, mine is in the middle here. Um, if it's a stock K20, uh, your intake pipe comes in here, so it will be sort of around this area. It's usually right next to the throttle body, so it should be around here. Um, they do look pretty similar, so you know that's what you're looking for. Right, I've got a spare one over here. So this is the one I'm going to show you how to test with. Now, we'll do it two ways. First way, we'll test it with a multimeter. And then the second way, we will test it with a code reader. So, right, I will jump to the code reader. We'll go that way first, uh, test that, and then we'll come back and test it with the multimeter. Right, here we go. So, once you've got your code machine plugged in, uh, you want to enter the system. I should get the camera right so you can see it. So, wait for it to enter. And then, yeah, okay. So you wanna go on to data stream and then view all items. And there we go. Scroll down, scroll down. There you go. All right, it's hard to see with the camera. Right, there you go. IAT, second from the top, 14 degrees Celsius. Now that is the temperature today in my garage. So yeah, so, Looking at that, you can tell there that it's reading the correct temperature. So that's the one easy way and first way to check that it's right. Um, so that's good there. Now we can turn it off and take it out. Right. The second way you can do a test. You can do a resistance test. Now, this temperature sensor will read a different resistance at different temperatures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to read the, the resistance first and then I've got a cup of warm water with a thermometer in it that's set to a certain temperature. So I'll know that with the temperature in here being 40 degrees it should read a certain resistance and then my, the cup of water is about 40 degrees so I know what numbers it should be hitting so that way I can check that it's right. So with a multimeter you want to set it to here, this one here. Now don't worry if it says one on there for now. Um, so all you want to do is connect. It's hard to do it with one hand. So you've got two pins. Connect those two to those two pins and it should read numbers. Now it shouldn't matter which way around you do it. Um, I've done it both ways and it reads exactly the same. So don't worry about getting it the wrong way around because I don't think there is a way. So, okay, what I'll do is I'll plug that in, get a reading and we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. So I've got my mug with my thermometer in it. Uh, we're reading 42 degrees. Now, by the way, I, I did not buy this mug. I was given this mug. Um, okay, so IAT. So we'll just hold it in the water for a little bit just to get it up to temperature. Um, so yeah, what we should do now is once it's been in there for a little bit longer, we'll plug it back onto the multimeter and it should read a different resistance um, okay, so, what I'll do, right, okay, I'll pull it out, I'll grab another uh, reading off the multimeter and see what it hits, and I'll uh, post a picture up of all these. Right, so there you go, so, as you can see there, it was reading 1.21, which is about right for 40 degrees. Um, I've put a little chart together of what resistance it should be at what temperatures, so I'll post that up so you can see and you can test it. 
um, even hotter temperatures if you want. You can go all the way, test every temperature, make sure it's reading the same. And obviously, if you plug your code machine in and it's reading, you know, if, if the engine's cold and it's reading on 100 degrees or if it's reading minus, you know, you know it's going to be wrong. Uh, but if you don't have that and you've got the multimeter, you can test it that way. And again, if it's reading crazy resistances, you know, really high or really low, then, you know, you're pretty sure that that is the problem, you know. If you're still having issues after that, I mean, it possibly wiring, you know, it, there's a lot of different things and different um, different ways things can be wrong. So that's just one way of testing these little sensors and making sure that, you know, that's definitely at fault. So yeah, so I hope that's helped. Um, if you liked it, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Uh, I'm going to do a few more, hopefully, on the uh, Integra in you know the months to come. And uh, yeah, so yeah, awesome. Thanks for watching.